Hi, this is the CyberWing tutorial video. I'd like to start off by thanking you for taking the time to check this out. Okay, first things first. This is a real-time strategy game, but it's not like the RTS games you might be used to. There is no scrolling, top-down view, mini-map, or mouse cursor control. In CyberWing, you directly control a character, like in a 3D action game, as well as an army of units you control by issuing them commands and airlifting them into position. This may seem like a novel approach, but in fact, it's been done before. Cyberwing possesses the same pick-up-and-carry, base capture, and transformation mechanics found in Herzog's Way for the Sega Genesis. This game was overlooked when it came out because it was an extremely hardcore game, requiring from its players deep skills in both strategy and action gaming. This combination of both having to directly control a player well and also dictate a strong overarching strategy has been unseen in gaming until now, 20 years later. Now let's talk about your character. You control a robot that can transform into a fighter jet. This fighter jet can pick up and carry units around the battlefield to where they need to be. To transform between the two modes, you press the transform key. You're also armed with a chain gun for killing soft targets and an anti-tank cannon for killing armored units. Pretty cool, right? Well, the character does have a problem, and that's fuel. The robot mode doesn't use fuel, but moves very slowly and cannot transport units. Most of the time, you want to be in the air, and you want to keep a close eye on your fuel throughout the game. If it's running low, you must refuel at a base you control. Neutral and enemy bases cannot be used by you at all for anything until you capture them, which we'll talk about later. Now let's talk about units. In order to bring a unit into play, you need to order it, wait for it to build, and then pick it up when construction is complete from a base that you control. Let's repeat that one more time, as it's the key to playing this game. In order to bring a unit into play, you need to order it, wait for it to build, then pick it up after construction is complete from a base that you control. Each unit has its own purpose in the game, but for now, let's talk about infantry. Infantry the cheapest, weakest unit in the game, but their real job isn't fighting. Their job is to infiltrate. When an infantry enters an enemy or neutral base, he'll score an infiltration for your team. When you have four infiltrations at a base, it becomes yours, and you can now pick up units, refuel, and repair from it. Now let's talk about orders. Units can have one of four orders when on the battlefield. These orders are attack, fall back, destroy, and defend. The most common orders are attack and defend, so let me explain exactly what they do. Attack will have the unit move to the closest base you don't control that they can reach. I'll say this again because it's absolutely crucial to understanding the game. Attack will tell units to move to the closest base you don't control that they are capable of reaching. Infantry on attack orders will infiltrate bases when they run inside them. Other units will form a defensive perimeter around the base. Defend will have the units stay in place and not move at all. Defend is good for setting up a defense and also for staging an attack force, or just for making sure a unit doesn't move from where you just dropped it. By the way, the object of Cyberwing is to destroy the opponent's headquarters. Destroy will order your units to move to the enemy headquarters, ignoring enemies along the way, and fire on it in an effort to destroy it and win the game. Fall back is like the opposite of attack. It'll have the unit withdraw to the closest friendly base they can reach. Now to capture a base, you just build infantry and drop them off with attack orders. They will run to the base and take it over for you. You don't have to do anything else once they're moving. However, the closer you drop them off to the base, the quicker they'll get there, and the more likely it is they'll survive the trip. Now you know how to capture bases, and if you know that, you're halfway to knowing how to win. Take a moment to master the skill of ordering infantry, fueling up, flying them to bases, and in part two, we'll examine the rest of the game. 